proceed? So I am honored to be here with you guys because I'm a mother, number one, uh, for three girls. And seeing what you're doing, I'm bringing them to your house. <laughs> I'm going to bring you. We're going to have play dates. So I'm happy to hear that you guys have a passion for giving back. That's really key in making movements in your lives. And helping others, that's really a big foundational thing you need to be successful, to give and to sow, right? To reap and sow. You've demonstrated, both of you, that there's no age requirement or restriction on giving back and making an impact and change in the world. But why at five and eight? Tell me how you guys became interested in this process and why. So when I was five, I enjoyed school a lot. And when I learned that girls weren't able to go to school and that the boys did, I thought that that was just really unfair and it wasn't right because they spent their whole day hauling water and they didn't get to go play and they didn't hang out with friends. And they also, they just didn't have the same opportunities. And as a five and eight year old, we thought that that was unfair and we decided that we wanted to do something about it. And origami was just something we loved doing as a family. And it was just something that anybody can do. You don't have to be skilled or talented. And it's just something that we've used to make a big impact in the world. Of course. Do we need parental support? Where's mom? Where's your hand, mom? Mom is back, back there. there. Is. With dad as well. And your younger sister? Yes. <laughs> the whole family's here tonight. Awesome. <laughs> Hi, mom. You guys have homework, you have school activities, you have chores. How do you find the time to run an organization? And how do you determine? School or renegotiate my contract with the market. So, I mean, how do you turn it? <laughs> um, it's all about balance, and we just have to set aside time for school and then time for paper for water. And we started paper for water when I was in second grade. And at this point, I really don't remember life without paper for water. And so, growing up, I've just always had to work around paper for water and volunteering. And, you know, we also have different seasons for Paper for Water, so we do a lot of, a lot more work in the summer when we don't have school, um, and then during the holiday season. And then the rest of the year, it's usually maybe an hour a day, a couple hours on the weekends, and so we still usually have enough time for school work. Wow. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it does conflict with, like, hanging out with friends, but when you think about it, it's saving a kid's life. Or you can hang out with your friends. <laughs> so, you know. I mean, our friends are great, but... <laughs> Do any of your friends volunteer? Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes, definitely. Awesome. Awesome. So tell us what you've learned about the water crisis. So we've learned a lot of numbers, and I'm just going to sort of spew facts for a minute. So there's over 847 million people who live without access to safe water, and over 2 billion people who live without adequate sanitation. Um, over 443 million school days are missed each day because children are unable to attend school. Over half the hospital beds in developing countries are occupied by people suffering from waterborne diseases that can be easily treated with clean water. And, and but a lot of the other things I've learned about water is that it largely impacts women and girls because they're the ones who are responsible for getting clean water for their families. And once they have access to clean water, it gives them the opportunity to attend school for the girls and for the women, it often gives them the opportunity to start a small business, which then helps bring their family out of poverty. Wow. How are you? What have you learned? I have one fact sheet covered. A child dies every 60 seconds from unclean water. Um, she basically hit everything else. <laughs> um, a child dies every 60 seconds from unclean water. So wow. every minute a child is dying. Wow. Yes. You guys are truly, truly making an impact. I'm so proud. Very proud. You guys have secured partnerships with major retailers, including Nima Marcus and Four Seasons. Describe those initial meetings. I know that must be <laughs> yes. selling to someone in a meeting where you have to sell your idea, your concept, and get support can be challenging, right? It is, but it's also I find it very fun. Mm -hmm. um, so with Neiman Marcus, <laughs> our we were actually introduced to the CEO by a friend of ours at a party, and she said to the CEO, you have to have their ornaments in your stores. And so she set up a meeting, probably about a week or two later, and we got there with 
boxes of ornaments. We brought everything. And we set up the meeting, and the CEO walked in, and she said, okay, you have 30 minutes, tell me everything, go. And it was amazing, and we told her all about it, and she was so passionate about what we were doing. And from that point on, that was probably October-ish, we had a meeting every week or so, and it was just amazing because even though we, she was so passionate about, about what we were doing, we still had to go through all of the process that most vendors have to do. Um, but it was just really fun. I don't want to do it, and everyone there was, it was fun. super, it was. Wow. Yes, it was. <laughs> it was great, and everyone there was so nice, and they all really wanted to help us succeed. And so it was just amazing. You have an abundance of confidence. <laughs> was it fun for you, too? How was your, what were your feelings going into those initial meetings full of board members and key executives? She's a little bit more confident than I am. <laughs> I don't want to tell you that. <laughs> um, what I took away from it is you can't, like, know unless you ask. Like, the worst thing that's going to happen is they say no. And the best thing that's going to happen is they say yes. So you just need to get in there and ask. So, good point. Good point. I looked at your website. It's amazing. Your content you. is phenomenal. Who is in charge of the marketing strategy? <laughs> so, officially, our younger sister, Trinity. She's our <laughs> Wait, Trinity, I met her earlier. <laughs> <laughs> it is. Yeah, stand up, Trinity, for everyone to see. I She's in charge of the She said, I am You need me to get out of power? Stand on the bench. <laughs> so, Trinity, you're in charge of marketing? I, I didn't know that. Yes. We, we do also have a team of people who help us who are very, they are skilled in social media. They and support Trinity. Yes. So, yes. yes. <laughs> She's marketing director in training. So, <laughs> officially still. We're working on it. She is okay. still officially well, keeping keep her family. family. Yes. What do other friends um, and kids in your neighborhood think about what you're doing? A lot of my friends, they think it's pretty awesome. A couple of them volunteer, and a few of them are really passionate about this. So they're Have very you been supportive. Able to get someone else to start a project of their own. Oh yes. yes, we have a lot of people who have started volunteering for us, and then decided that they want to do their own project to help pay for water. And on occasion, we've had people start an entirely new thing, or they start a paper for water club at their school. That's what a lot of people do. That's great. Which I actually also awesome. have yes. an Yes. <laughs> yes. What do you guys get out of doing this? Well, literally, we have gotten a trampoline. <laughs> my, my favorite part. Um, <laughs> that was pretty great. But we've also just gotten a lot of... I personally love doing this. I find it incredibly fun. And I've learned so much from it that I don't know where else I would learn this. Um, and we've met we've met so many incredible people and made so many new friends. It's just been amazing. Awesome. That's beautiful. Just given the opportunity to help other people, I think a lot of kids and adults, they want to help other people, they just don't know how. And I think just being given the opportunity to help other people and empower other people to help other people has just been amazing. Yep, you are examples. You're leading the way. So what does ambition mean to you when you hear the word ambition? I think it's, I have a very simple definition, and for me it's just what our dreams are for the future and what our goal is to accomplish in our lifetime. Okay. That's pretty much what, just what you're working towards and what you're going to put your whole life and heart into. Now, does it seem odd to you or normal that girls your age, well, starting at 5 and 8, have their own business? How do you feel about that? Is it a norm? Do you see it in your community? No, sadly. No, I don't think it's entirely normal at this point, but I feel like it could be. I mean, there's no reason why more 5 and 8-year-olds don't start their own company. I mean, <laughs> They Besides asking their mothers. <laughs> yes. But they definitely have the ability to if they want to. Well, that's true. Your heart has to be there, right? Yes. And so you guys came with that heart and the desire and the passion, which is what leads you to your direction and success. So that's beautiful. Do you think you'll do this forever? I, for one, want to always continue helping people and giving back to the community. I do not see myself in 10, 20 years doing paper for water, 
But I do want to always continue giving back to other people. Beautiful. So what can people in this room and those tuning in do to join you on your mission? Well, we have recently started a campaign to boost our YouTube following. So if all of you guys would subscribe to our YouTube channel, it's Paper for Water, that would be amazing. Um, and then for all of you guys here in the DFW area, we have monthly folding parties. And you guys are all welcome to come and bring friends and children as well. We appreciate young children learning how to fold too. Um, we have details about the about events on our Facebook page and our Instagram, which you guys should also follow, um, and our website as well. And Instagram? Yes, Instagram. And both Instagram and Facebook are paper for water. Perfect. Everyone, pull your phones out and let's support them. The yeah, likes, comments. Do. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you, Isabel, for being with us today. Thank you so much. I am much. sure that everyone in this room and those tuning in are inspired by you and your work. And we have to say thank you because you are truly an example. Thank you. Thank you.